Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2 episode 10 of season 2 of Sunu. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. That ooh, that change from a cute little smile to kind of anger. Oh, oh, tension. Cut that shit with a knife. Oh my god, like who you? I, I felt that. Mm. Damn, was not expecting that. Like right at the start. Oh. So damn, we're not even content. I mean, we are technically, but I would have expected that we still would have got like part two of the training camp trip. Okay, no, we're getting that. Thank God, because it would have been so weird. I'm like, yes, let's all go back home. That's why he didn't want to say anything. Oh, <laughs> I'm baby getting angry. Oh god, that was hot. Huh. <laughs> I don't know why, but Fua, like definitely gives me curl 
haiku vibes. Is that it, or is that just me? But seriously, I mean, just look at them. Sega, thank you. It takes the boyfriend to figure it out. Stop, he looks like Ray right there, oh my god. Oh. I can't. The night he didn't look like Ray, he looked like Rin right there. Oh. You're right about that. God damn, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> His back. Help me. I. <sighs>
I still want to spin off on freaking Masa because like I can't. <sighs> he daddy. <laughs> Me kind of. Okay, Mikhail, you're doing a little too much right now. Chill. So you want to talk? At least speak? Mm -hmm. I like in between. An hour. Ten minutes is a pretty long time, though. I kind of. Right?
Yeah, because he overcame it. Yes, you. Even though you being an ass, hella ass, you're still sweet. And that's only because you've had people let you down in the past.
in his own way. <clears throat> You look so soft. Soft baby. Still being hard headed. Better, I swear to God, we only have a couple more weeks of this show. Oh. <laughs> you Okay, yeah, this was a lot today. Damn. I mean, okay, thank God they were only stuck in the elevator for half an hour. I, I could not imagine being stuck in an elevator for about an hour. And then also learning that your uncle is sent to the hospital and then you're like, everything that you've still been doing and working towards and trying to, you know, get the, you know, his revenge story for his uncle, you're getting the good, the bad, and everything in between. And so this was his bad moment and thinking that something tragically was going to happen with his uncle. Because I was over here like, please don't let his uncle pass. Like, at least let him stay alive. Thank God he's okay. Because Jesus, I, I cannot imagine if something really, truly, Travis, Travisly, <laughs> I can't say the first right. Um, specifically happened to Nikaido's uncle, then we would have been seeing a really darker version of what he is now. Like, yeah, he's still a little jokey, sometimes can be an ass, only because of the fact is he still has all this anger inside of him. But at the same time, at the end of the day, when he really is around his uncle, he is a very sweet, genuine, you know, young man, even though he when he is around his uncle he's just like the cutest little baby ever like he's just so freaking sweet now i would have expected in this episode continuing from last week's episode of once again fua asking minato can we use your code so because that was something that i wondered if we were going to get like the answer in today's episode and in a way I, we we really didn't i i thought we were because that was the biggest thing that i was excited about because I would have wanted to know what Masa would have said, what Minato would have said, what everyone in our little group, our family, would have said and been like, oh, hey, does he want to coach everybody else but also still coaching us at the same time? Because I think if that did happen, I think the one who would be pissed off the most would be Kaito because it's freaking Kaito. We all know how, how pissed Kaito can be 
and how angry he can be. Yes. So immediately, Kaito would have been like going off, off. But I felt like Minato would have voiced his opinion and same thing with everyone else. But the our little relationship, <laughs> or <laughs> to me, it's still a relationship or little bond between Masa and Mikado. It, it's interesting, but you do like any time when Mikado would talk to Masa because he is still angry about everything. He feels like anything that Masa had said to him, he he didn't want to hear it. And that's why sometimes I'm like, oh my God, will you just shut up for five freaking minutes and just listen to him speak? Don't say anything. Don't voice your opinion as much as I love you. Shut up. Just shut up for five fucking minutes and listen to this man speak. That's all. But like, oh. And then y'all gave me that fan service. Thank you. Huh, thank you. Because at first I thought it was Fua. And, and then no, when I listened to them, I was like, no, that's myself. I was like, oh. Yes! <laughs> so still, so, once again, give me my freaking Masa spin off. I need it. <laughs> I crave that ish. But other than that, guys, that is my action features. Episode 10 of season 2 of Sea Moon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Wednesday for episode 11. Bye, guys.